Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial today. We are doing a little bit of a winter scene. So I've got my elements, I've got my Versafine Claire, I've got my uh, Multiferous card which is our super super smooth card. Um, this is probably about a five, five inch square. So I've got my stencil brushes. We don't actually need an awful lot to create this card. So let's get started. Um, I've got a circle here um, from our masks and I'm gonna pop that down probably around the center. And then taking one of our stencil brushes, this is number seven, so this is the medium sized one. And I've got my elements. This is mermaid. What I'm going to do is pick up a little of the ink on the brush, take that off, and just swirl it around. Make sure that the whole brush is covered. And then I'm going to transfer it to the card. Okay, so you get a nice smooth finish that way. You can build your colour up very gradually. So it's it's not worth putting it in your ink and going straight onto the card because then you won't be able to blend it as well. So just remember, ink up, swirl it around, cover that brush and then introduce it to the card and it will be so much easier to blend doing it that way. And what I'm going to do is very, very gently bring in that colour around the edge. And as I say, we can build up colour and that's far easier to blend if you're building it up gradually rather than putting all the colour on at once. So working my way all the way around. I say all the way around, I'm actually leaving an area down here and I'll show you why in a bit. So again, I'm inking up, taking off and then introducing that colour. Working my way around the edge and you can see how smooth that is and it how blendable it all is. I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to concentrate on just the edge so I'm deepening that colour on the very, very edge. And the more you build up, the easier it is to, bl to blend. Okay, I'm going to pop the lid on that one. And then I'm bringing the mulberry out. And I'm using a different coloured stencil brush now. Try and stick two tones of colours with the stencil brushes. So I don't have a stencil brush for every single colour, but I would cross over on yellows and oranges and maybe a light, light green. Um, the blues, I could mix the blues with the turquoises. So um, you don't have to have a stencil brush for every colour. Um, I know I don't anyway, so. I'm just going to take that colour around again. And you can see that crossover of colour has given us a beautiful sort of purple colour. So that's quite a nice deep colour now. So I'm going to stop there, take that off, and then I'm going to introduce one of our hill masks. And I'm going to pop that, filling in the gap there with one of the hills. I'm going to go back to the mermaid, back to my medium sized stencil brush, 
do exactly the same thing so take it off swirl it round and then a little bit more and now I'm going to be graphite and this time I'm going to use our smallest stencil brush this is number three I'm going to ink up because I only want the very edge of the hill mask so I'm just kissing the very very edge with this colour because that brush is nice and small it just doesn't cover everywhere you know it's just where you want it to go and that way it gives us a really nice two-tone which again if we introduce a couple of colors it gives us depth again so you can see the difference that that's made I'm going to take another mask here I'm going to pop that over. This is a different mask. I didn't want it to be too um, repetitive. So let's go back to the mermaid. Back to the blue stencil brush. And again, I'm going to go over the top. Going back to the grey and the smaller stencil brush, and I'm just going to go over the edge again. Not quite as dark this time. And there we go. So that's our scene ready. I think I'm going to take that starkness away of the white, and I'm, this time I'm going to use the russet orange. Now because there's a big area that I want to cover, I'm now using the largest stencil brush that we've got. So same method again, ink up the brush and swirl it until it's blended. And then we're going to introduce it very, very lightly to start with. Once you get the feel, you can start adding a little, little bit more pressure. Round and round. I'm going to bring in a little bit more colour again. And this time I'm going to concentrate on the edges. So by adding a little bit more depth on the edges, it kind of makes the moon look a little bit more three-dimensional. I'll build up that depth and I'll show you what I mean as I go along. So I'm going back now to the turquoise, the mermaid, sorry. I don't need to re-ink, there's enough ink on here. And I'm going to bring in a little bit more colour just on the very edge, on this side and on this side. And you can see straight away how that's really starting to look more 3D. Very clever what colour can can do when you have a play about with it. So 
so it's ready now for me to stamp onto. I've got my lovely stag here. So I'm going to ink him up in the Nocturne. So make sure that you've completely covered him. Just take your time. And then I'm going to pop him on the very top of that hill. And then he'll become the focal point of the card. There we go. So like I say, he's our focal point. We put him in the moon and our eye is automatically drawn to that centre. So anything that you want to do, you don't have to use the stag, you can use any animal, you could use a tree even, and it would just pull your eye towards the middle there. I'm going to use one of our little pound stamps here. This is our, um, a, just a twig, but you can use anything that you want. I'm using the twilight. And all I'm gonna do is just build up a little bit of foliage around the edge of the moon. So I've done that side and now I'm going to do one this side. down here as well and maybe one or two over here okay and I've got another little stamp here which is great and I'm going to ink this one up in warm breeze take off first just test the water and just see how much ink I do need I don't need an awful lot Now I've got a, a lovely little winter verse here, which I'm going to use just to go around the edge. So ink up. I'm going to take off. And then I'm going to pop that over the top. So ink up, take up, off and pop over the top. to this side as well. I'm looking at that now thinking it needs a little bit of colour and I've got a great Posca pen here. Now, this is a red but it's the glitter red. This is really nice, adds a, adds a little bit of glitter. I love these colours. What I'm going to do is just dot, I can do the dots as big or as small as you want, tiny or slightly bigger ones. And I just feel that that little bit of colour just lifts it. As I say, you don't need a lot. And you don't have to use red 
you know you can use any color you like I just think that the red always goes so lovely with blue next I'm going to use another Posca this one's the ivory you can use the white or the beige in fact you can use any color you like because of the because I wanted it to be a bit more wintry I'm going to use this one so give it a shake and then what I'm going to do is just tap and you can see how that starts to come out and I'm just taking it across the card I love this technique it really does give the card something else and then lastly I'm going to use a little bit of the stickles and all I'm going to do is pop a little just around just dot it along the edge that's it so a nice easy card with not many things really as I say it's just the elements the Versafine Claire couple of stamps you can use any minis that you've got just to create a really nice winter scene and um, I think that makes a really nice Christmas card so I hope it's inspired you although you've probably already made your Christmas cards uh, and like me. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. So you take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.